Leon is it right in the previous module, we looked at several examples that lead to the conclusion that slopes of the particular lines are negative reciprocals. I'm going to highlight that. Negative reciprocals. So, um, what does that mean? This means <laughs> different signs. And this one means flipped over. And so, our goal now is to make this more formal and figure out why it's true and how it works. So, start by drawing a right triangle with segment OA as the hypotenuse. These are also often called slope triangles. Based on the slope triangle weight you have drawn, what is the slope of OA? And that will be two-thirds. And now I need a picture. So I'm going to erase this. Take a picture. So we have... You don't need the picture, you're just going to keep using it. So you've got your slope triangle. It said to locate, rotate the slope triangle 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. So you're going to use patty paper. I'm going to use this awesome thing, 90 degrees clockwise. Same direction as the clock. We end up going this way, 90 degrees. What are the coordinates of point A now? They are 2, comma, negative 3. I rotated the slope triangle and I shouldn't have. It should have been the slope rotating point A, so this is A prime. Um, draw a new stripe triangle based on this slope triangle. What is the slope? It is 3 over 2. And that's negative because it's down 3. And then my next question, which I can't really see very well, And what is the relationship between those two slopes, and how do I know? That's my next question. Get this further out of the way. Um, I think we have there. So our first one, which is no longer on my page, was two thirds. And so we've got two thirds and three over two, and those are opposite or negative reciprocals. And um, now the question is, how are the two lines, how's the relationship changed if the two lines are translated so the intersection point is at negative 5, positive 7? Fortunately, that's way off my screen, so I can't move it there. But if I move it, all of it, will the relationship between the slopes change? I want you to think about that and go ahead and answer question number 5 on your own. Um, and that we'll discuss it more in the next video.